Now let's look at uh, Module 5 of Entrepreneurship and uh, Innovation. Module 5 has to do with management and innovation. The concept and types of innovation is what we are looking at in Unit 1. It said innovation is a process of translating an idea, an invention, into a product or service that creates value. It must be, it must have value, like we discussed earlier. The, the it has to be verified. It has to be, you know, tested and accepted. Because if people need it, what people need then it has value to qualify as innovation it needs to be replicable it means that it can be replicated it can be re repeated in, in different ways by different people it has economic cost it must satisfy a specific need we have dealt with. Yeah, we have uh, categories of innovation. Uh, the first is uh, the one they call evolutionary innovation. It's continuous, it's dynamic, it's continuous in, in the sense that is uh, it comes incrementally in incremental advances in technology if we if we look at uh, the postal system for instance uh, first in my father's days they used to have used telegraph to send messages to people they send it they go to collect it in somebody's place it can take uh, uh, days to collect weeks after that, in our time, we were using the postal system, the post office system. I'm sure many people that were born in the last 10 years may not have known much about the postal system. You post your letter, even within Nigeria, it could take two weeks to get to its destination, the post office. And people were managing with that. And with uh, uh, there were another in, uh, another change in that process and it has to do with uh, the courier services people had to pay more but they were sure the message the letter will reach their destination they are sure that it will get there in the day the day and the date they stipulated and it's safe then we were satisfied with it until email came. You are now delivering your letter, your message, and the person you're sending it to is getting it instantly. Those are the values of technology. That's evolutionary. It came gradually. Then you have a revolutionary innovation. It's called discontinuous innovation because when it comes like it puts off the existing one. Uh, we can use uh, 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 the, telef uh, the telephone, for instance. It's disruptive. In the sense that when we had um, uh, the landline, people were using it. Whatever the shortcomings, it was being managed. But when the innovations in telephone came the mobile phone it, disrupt, it disrupted the the landline not only that uh, it is made available for everybody to own because of the cost remember we said that technology drives down cost it drove down the cost of owning a telephone before you will pay as much as uh, hundred thousand to uh, have a landline in your house. If you are waiting for somebody's call, you have to wait in the house for the call to come. 
But the, when the mobile phone came, first of all, it is portable, it's handy, you can take it anywhere you're going, and the cost is within reach. So much so that even market women, everybody, people in the villages, they have telephone. And nobody is thinking about landline again. This is revolutionary innovation or disruptive innovation because it's like knocks off the idea of a... Finally, you can say that innovation is synonymous with risk taking especially when it concerns radical innovation when you are not even sure whether the new tech will be accepted or not the new market you are trying to go into unlike the uh, gradual innovation the incremental innovation is just minimal you don't put in the research as much as um, you don't invest too much as much as the radical one the risk is more in the radical innovation but the most common innovation is the continuous one taking lessons skills and overall technology and applying them to a different market so as a startup you need to be well informed and guided through the implementation of uh, the technology we'll stop here for now